Hey you guys, what is going on now? We're gonna be I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about two games, okay? I did a review on Grid and I also gave my thoughts on Grand Theft Auto 5. But here's the thing, okay? I like both games, okay? And I feel like, I feel like I gave, or at least I say, I, I, I truly feel like I gave uh, Grid some, I feel like I gave Grid more negativity than what the game actually earns, or, because in reality, let's go ahead and talk about grid in general. Now, besides besides a little glitchiness in the very beginning of me playing the game, really that's 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 all. Besides uh, some um, some visual effects that are kind of weird, uh, signs changing, flashing lights, you know, or you know. Um, and even to, you know, dirt being smudged on the car. And, you know, but besides, besides those imperfections, of course, everything is going to have imperfections. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be, you know, 100% positive. Whee! All the way, okay? And I, I want to put emphasis on that because, um... Finishing Grid and Finishing Grand Theft Auto, they're both fun games. Um, I don't think I had anything bad to say about Grand Theft Auto, but we'll get into that in just a few minutes. But I, I, want, I wanted to give more insight on my thoughts on the game. Uh, somebody, um, my uh, one of you guys, um, a subscriber, shout out to Beaver. Hope I said your name right. You got, you know, you gave me the idea. And I've been having the idea of playing new games or play, you know, just playing games in general and doing a review. And I like doing that. Again, I like sharing my thoughts. And that's, that's, that's fun for me. Um, but anyways, I appreciate you guys, by the way. I mean, you know, and I like, again, the variety of gameplay, the different challenges... Um, because you have different, you know, you have different style of cars. You have stock cars, GT cars, or Grand Touring. That's what GT stands for. Uh, SS stands for Super Sport, if you guys want to learn a little something new. Um, you know, tuner cars. But you have a nice, vast variety of cars in this game. No, you can't update them. Or, or, I'm sorry, update, update, wow. You can't upgrade the cars, and that's fine. What's really nice, though, is, is a plus for this game, again, is the fact that you can um, add different liveries and colors to your cars. You can, you can, um, you know, your, uh, you could, you could update your player card. You know, you could, you can decorate, and that's, and that's that is a big thing that I like seeing in games. Now, cheaper games, you know, games that are you know meh, we'll say meh, okay. Of course, they're not going to have the same quality as um, big franchise games like Rockstar Games or Codemasters. You know, these big companies that are working on really cool games for all of us to play and enjoy. Those of you that are gamers and that. Or if, you know, you just like to do it on, you know, free time, you know, and that's that works too. That's wonderful. Um, but I, I have to say that, that I, besides, besides you know, the visual effects, uh, besides there were a couple races that I weren't, that I wasn't able to finish or first place, whatever you want to call. That kind of makes me mad because, again, I like, me personally... 
Me personally, I like a really nice, kind of easy, you know, let me play through the game and not, you know, not be, you know, 100% difficult. I don't like, <laughs> I don't, you know, I, I like to enjoy the game, you know, I don't want to have to feel like fighting through it, you know, and that's where, you know, a game like Grand Theft Auto comes in, and we'll go, again, we'll get to that in a second since we're talking about two different games, but... Um, but overall, Grid, Grid is a wonderful game, and I enjoyed playing it, and those of you that haven't heard of Grid, go again, and I'm showing you guys the case multiple times, that way you guys get to see what it is, go play it, and try it, and let me know what you guys think about the game, because it's, it's one of those games that's, you know, it's, it's, it's a cheap game. Uh, there's a new one out that's called Grid. Uh, that's called Grid Legends. I got that as well. It's cheap and it's on sale right now. It probably won't be on sale. It's a newer game, but it's one of those games that's kind of pushed to the side. You know, not Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, uh, Forza Horizon, Gran Turismo. You know, all these name grant name name brand games, and you got all these other games. Back, back behind all the great grand grand games, they're like, oh well, they you know got game here, here, we got this on the side, you know, for someone to find one day and, and maybe try, it, you know. But and, and again, it, it's a wonderful game, and I enjoy it, and I I have to express that because I feel like I gave Grid a negative a negative review. Out of five stars, I give it a four out of five. Besides the visual effects, it's a great game. It's great to look at the environment, different tracks. There's 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 one track that just very agitating. It's a track that's got really tight corners. You bang the wall, and 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 it's hard to pass. You know, and before I forget, this is why I like doing these videos when I when I have the thoughts to do them. Um, is that way I share my kind of my full opinion on them, and and one other thing that I do like is is to to make to make the game and experience better, just besides having a difficulty setting, or just casually playing through the game, you know, Grid offers Grid offers a um, Grid offers a qualifying lap. So every race you get a qualifying lap, a quick quali a quick lap to qualify on, you know, and that determines your position in the race in the final race. And that's another cool thing that I like about the game and I'm kind of curious to see if Grid Legends kind of pushes that as well and I'm also try and I'm also curious to know what's different about Grid Legends as well. So this is 2006. This lots lots of dates on this, but I'm sure this is this is looks like this is dis distributed uh, in 2019. This came out. So, but enough talk about Grid. Um, I'm not gonna talk about Grand Theft Auto V for very long um, because I like the game in general. Okay, this game is fun. This game is fantastic. Um, I have to say that I play it. I, I I haven't played it online. I have it for as you can see. I have it for PS4. I think that it's wonderful. I think that it's actually really cool, of all the different kinds of mods for the for the PC version. All the, you know, and and people, you know, have it's like their own lives in this game. They play out different stories and. You can find that all across YouTube, and it's it's really fun. It's some of it's really fun to watch and really interesting. I've gone into a couple channels that I watch. I don't really watch anymore. I've I'm subscribed to so many people. It's not even funny, but you know, bear witness. I still watch a couple people that play Grand Theft Auto Five. Um, I have to shout out to my subscribers to the guys that I'm subscribed to. Anyhow. Um, but the online play is also phenomenal of what I've seen. Now again, I'm a guy that likes solo. I'll play with friends. I'll play with a group every once in a while. And uh, another cool thing is even even if you finish the story, if you even if you finish the story, 
you still have, you know, you still have different side quests uh, that you can still, you know, do. You know, you have many different areas and buildings that you can buy, and then you have more missions and side missions that you can do and collect, and, you know, that's really fun. And, and, and for those of you that are fetch quests or love achievements, I have to say, I'll be honest, now, in the sense, I get the achievements that I can, that I can get. I get the achievements that I know that I can get and achieve and grasp as I'm playing the game. I don't do a full completion because, again, I don't play online and I'm not worried about getting the online achievements. But, overall, out of both these games, these games are both really fun. And I'll be honest, I practice driving on Grand, Th you know, on Grand Theft Auto. And what's really funny is I hear, okay, I hear for whatever reason that they're making a uh, they're making a sixth game, okay. And I do plan on playing that. Now, as we know, growing up, uh, growing up with Grand Theft Auto, I was never able, I was never able to play it. Well, we all know why because of the ratings and what the game had in it. Um, but out of all the games, Grand Theft Auto V, Grand Theft Auto V does have a story mode that is really nice. And spoiler alert, spoiler, okay, spoilers. Um, everybody's heard of Grand Theft Auto V, so I don't think that this would be spoilers unless you're someone new that's growing up and that is... <laughs> Never played it before, but um, you know you have these three guys. This this one guy that is you know that lives with his aunt and it's a tow truck driver. Um, on the side, he um, then you got the kind of richer Michael, you know, richer guy that's going through family. Family issues, you know, and of course you deal with drunks and drug addicts, and then, well, that's where you get Trevor, which is a drug addict, and he lives over, over in the boonies. I mean, uh, I mean, the boonie boonies, you know. But they all get together, I mean, this whole group, the whole group of, group of guys, these, they get together, and I think it's really cool, they, they have different heists, and it gets bigger and bigger and better, Every time, you know, and, and uh, no, stealing is wrong, but again, it's, 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 it's a story mode. It still, it still tells a story about these three guys and their friendship and how it grows. And it's, it's really cool. It's really fun. And I don't, I don't know if the other games have that, which is why I'm, I'm kind of, again, excited to see what the sixth game has to offer. I, I really am. I have Nothing bad to say about either one of these games. They both have been very fun to play. Again, Grid for PS4 and also Grand Theft Auto 5. That is my piece. That is all that I'm going to say for this. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> wrong way. I wanted to make sure I got them both in camera. So, But I just want to give my thoughts on both the games again. Um, and just maybe further explain myself and my thoughts, my true thoughts about the games. Um, let me know if there's any games that you guys want to see me play or maybe review um, any games that you guys think that I should play. Also, give me some video suggestions down below, taste test, all that good stuff like I ask if you guys want to. It goes a long way in the run and you know, we'll have more content in the future. So, We'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate y'all. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed my rant on both these games, and again, that's not not a negative rant. It's it's you know again I I I enjoy sitting back, relax, and just doing something, playing something for a while. If it's the same game over and over again, which normally it is, I play the same game till I beat it. For example. You know, I gotta take a break and I gotta come back. I gotta take a break and come back. But still, overall, um, both these games, uh, both these games are the ones that I plan on beating. So, 
So, overall, again, uh, two very fun games, and I have, uh, I got some newer games that I'm going to play that I hope you guys uh, will enjoy uh, the reviews and my thoughts, as a few of them are games I've never heard of, so I think it's going to be interesting, I think it's going to be fun. So, but overall, again, give me a like on the video if you guys like me, you guys like the channel, you guys like all the cool stuff to come, and I have lots more fun stuff on the way. I really do. I got stuff that I plan on, uh, I got stuff that I have saved and Google that I plan on ordering that's really cool that I think that you guys will like. I think that I'll like and will check out. So, again, suggest me some stuff down below. Leave me a good comment. I love you guys. Y'all are fantastic. Subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, the, y'all have been phenomenal on, on, uh, on everything, and I want to appreciate all that you guys do, and all that you guys, uh, uh, offer for me, all the comments, all the positivity, so with that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next episode, don't forget, I'm taking a week vacation, I'll let you guys know a little bit what's going on in a separate video at the end of this week, so I want to. Get everything set, everything set. Wonderful. I'm going to quit talking. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.